Well, coming up on this week's show, we're back in Columbus and we're enjoying a local business spotlight. And boy, you know, one of the things about this show that is so great is that we get to see a lot of the local businesses here in Columbus and what they do, such as roofing that's going on behind me. Also, we're back out at UT's Farm Market. You know the corn crop's in, and you're going to want to learn about that. And we got some great festivals on today's show as well. I'm Mike Kilburn, and along with Renee Warner, we're out and about in Columbus. Five, four, three, two, one, zero, ignition, liftoff. A couple weeks into picking season and boy the corn looks great this year as well as all the fresh produce behind me and of course you can find that at UC's market we also talked about that online ordering system that'll save you a lot of time Greg UC told us more well Greg good to have you back on out and about Columbus hi Mike you know it's always great to come out here and I'll tell you I couldn't help but notice the fresh picked corn behind us. So what's going on in the field? Boy, we're right in the middle of sweet corn harvest. Uh, started about July 5th. The crop has been excellent. Uh, you know, we had those weather concerns early on this year, and, and we're fighting a little bit of that, but the corn's got great flavor. It's really been good. Yeah. What other produce is in right now? Uh, we're looking at fresh tomatoes, green beans, cabbage, peppers, all that main stuff. We have still have peaches out of the south. We'll start with Ohio peaches here pretty soon. Uh, everything that you can grow in your garden around here, we've got fresh here now. Yeah. So how has the season been with the rain and everything that's happened? It's been okay. Uh, it's kind of straightened out since spring. We had a lot of trouble getting our crops planted early in the spring, uh, but the, the heat and the, the little bit of rain that's continued has really helped us through. Yeah. Well, you know, last time we were out, you had just got the parking lot done. What's, what's the reaction from people? Oh, man, it's, it's an awesome addition. Um, one thing, we don't have any complaints about it, that's for sure. And uh, we've really been busy because of it. You know, it's, it's just a lot more convenient for people. Yeah. Well, as I always mention and talk about is the meat and cheese. It's the best deal in town. How's that going? And platters. Right. Uh, meat and cheese is going great. Uh, as everybody knows, we try and deal with, with companies that we know that we can communicate with. Uh, one of those great companies, Cook's Turkey Farm out of uh, just western Ohio here. We, we f carry a full line of their stuff and, of course, all the Ohio cheese and stuff yeah. also. Well, you know, I, I have to mention this after right after that is I know how crowded it gets in there. And you went on went to online ordering. So I kind of wanted to find out how that's going and how people can use that. Yeah, that's working great. You can access it from our website, from Facebook. Uh, order ahead. We've, we've got an hour wait on that. We're slicing the stuff in the back of the way from our line. And it's just helping out our whole flow. Yeah, well, that's great to hear. Well, give us uh, the location of UT's Market for folks that haven't been out here. We're just off of Route 42 on Commerce Up Road, and we're open 9 to 5, Monday through Saturday. Fantastic, Greg. It's always good to see you. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you, Mike. Well, the Easy Riders Rodeo is coming up in Chillicothe, and boy, what an amazing time. If you haven't experienced this, it's well worth going to. We had an opportunity to actually talk to one of the grand champions of the Easy Rider Rodeo, Jason, and he told us all about the event and what's going to happen. Well, Jason, good to have you and a little discussion about the Easy Rider Rodeo that's coming to uh, Chillicothe. Thank you. Yeah. You know, it's a big event, and it has been for a lot of years in Columbus. I mean, we all know this is uh, coming up down there. And you've been a longtime competitor. A lot of folks don't even know what a Easy Rider Rodeo is. So kind of explain to our viewers what that is. Well, it started off with people with their motorcycles. And where the rodeo came from is where we raced around the barrels, just how you would do a horse and you complete a clover leaf. And we do it's a timed event, and then you win money. There's cash prizes. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. Now, what was what was the pushing and pulling and, and doing those kinds of things? Uh, we also do the sled pulls, as you'll see here behind us. There's a three-wheel pulling class. There's a gas class and a fuel class where you can run any kind of fuel you want. Pretty pretty interesting, you know, wild, you know, fuel bikes. Uh, we also have a two-wheel class where it's two-wheeled bike, one-back tire. 
along with we do some teammate events uh, where you can bring your your uh, partner out and you can do a, a tire ride you can pull them in the tire down the track there's a competition there along with people from the crowd can come out with their daily driven motorcycle they ride in with a weekend armband you get a free event so if you come down you can come out and you can do the slow ride where you go as slow as you can without putting your feet down all for cash prizes now the easy rider rodeo has been a family event for you and 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 your family right yes it has i've been going since probably 98 99 i would guess your dad compete? Yeah, my dad was a uh, 10-time consecutive champion. I was eight-time consecutive champion. Then he come back and beat me. And, uh, <laughs> and then your grandpa. Yeah, my grandpa. He actually he still comes out and rides occasionally. He's, he's getting up there in age. So, you know, if he's feeling right, he, sometimes he'll take a pass down the track. Oh, that's amazing. Well, who should come and enjoy this? Anybody and everybody who wants to have a good time as long as you're 18 years old. It's, it is an 18 and over party. Yeah. Well, I guess the most important thing is how do we learn more information, get tickets, and what's the date of the rodeo? It's Labor Day weekend. It'll follow start on Thursday all the way through Monday. Uh, you can, tickets are available at the gate. If you need more information, go to easyriderevents.com. Sounds fantastic. Jason, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you. Well, this park is empty right now, but soon it'll be full of people, fun, and local artists. Find out more about an Upper Arlington Festival that's coming up. Stay tuned. Would you like your business to appear on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. If you want to know what makes a quality roofing job, we had an opportunity to talk to Bill Smith from Brothers Roofing. This is a roofing company that does it right. And we had an opportunity to look at one of their jobs right here by Alum Creek. Well, Bill, good to have Brothers Roofing back on the show. Pleasure to be here. You know, one of the things that I always think of when I think of Brothers Roofing is quality and you take care of any problems anyone has and it's a really a first-rate company to do business with so I see you're doing a roofing job today yes, sir. tell us what makes sense when it comes to doing a roofing job and knowing that you got a quality one well I appreciate you saying that and really to address that our philosophy is never cut corners there are absolutely no shortcuts on our jobs that's it when we look up at this and we see these guys putting these shingles on, one of the things that you talk about is you have to follow the specs of the manufacturer to do the job right. Walk us through that. Absolutely. Any manufacturer, Owens Corning, Certainty, GAF, IKO, Tamco, same philosophy flies. They all have very specific installation instructions. All of us as contractors and roofers have to adhere to those strictly that's what validates the warranty. As long as we do that with all the correct components included from that manufacturer, warranty's covered. I'm happy to come back and deal with any issue that a, that a homeowner might have. Thankfully, we rarely have any, but like anyone, we're not perfect. If we make a mistake, we want to care for it immediately. What are some of the highlights of this roofing, this particular roofing job? Well, this particular job, we're using an, an upgraded Owens Corning product, which you can see, rhino roof all over the roof. That's an underlayment for a shingle, which is nearly indestructible, waterproof. It does a great job. This rhino roof is wonderful stuff, holds up very well. Well, it looks like a quality job. How long is it going to take uh, them to uh, your crew to do something like this? About one day. There's eight guys on this job, so about one day. Well, I bet the homeowner, that'll make the home, homeowner extremely happy. They'll hopefully. Well, Bill, give us some contact information to have you come out and look if uh, someone has a problem. Well, if you'd like to call us, we're at 614-296-1405, or you can look us up on the web, brothersroofingandconstruction.com. Fantastic. Bill, good seeing you again. Man, I sure know you do a quality job. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you for having us. The Upper Arlington Labor Day Arts Festival has been a part of the Upper Arlington community for over 50 years. Lynette and Marianne told us more about the history of the festival and some of the unique opportunities for the local artists. Well, Lynette, welcome to Out and About Columbus. Thank you. It is such a pleasure to be here in Upper Arlington to talk about the Upper Arlington Labor Day Arts Festival. Mm -hmm. Tell us all about the history of the festival and what's going to happen here. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, the festival started in 1966. Local artist called Don Dodrill gathered himself and about five of his friends, and they started selling their artwork on Labor Day at Miller Park. And then it moved to the Municipal Services Center and then here to Northam Park in the 80s, 90s. That, that's wonderful. 
wonderful. What are we going to see when we come to the festival? Oh, my gosh. So there's about 150 different artists whose work was juried and invited to be here at festival. Uh, we have two stages with performances all day long, one stage dedicated to nothing but children performing for children. So a lot of youth organizations in the community, dance troops and music uh, musicians. Uh, we always have an interactive art space at our art activities area, and there's usually 20 to 24 of those different activities. Wonderful. Now we have a chance to talk to Marianne, who is one of your local artists. Well, Marianne, thank you so much for joining us today. Tell us all about how this festival helps artists stand out. Thank you for having me. Um, I would say that I love the Upper Arlington Festival. I've been doing it for a handful of years, and to me, it's an important festival um, because it's local. There are so many people who come out to support the arts, either visual arts or performing, and um, it gives me an opportunity to connect with um, connect with followers of mine, but also meet new people. So it's been really great for me as an artist. Well, Lynette, how can we find out more about the Upper Arlington Labor Day Arts Festival? Oh, information about that is on our website, uh, uaoh.net, and we also have a Facebook event page. Fantastic. Again, thank you for coming out today and sharing all about this great festival. Oh, thank you so much. We'll see you out here in about 40 days. If it's happening in Central Ohio, you can find it on our events page. onacolumbus.com will give you detailed information on everything. Arts, entertainment, education, sports, theater, and more. Go to onacolumbus.com and click on ONA Events. Well, Tony, Hello, good to see you yes. and the it's McCartney Project years, again. Yeah, it's about two years. Yeah, you know, you guys were just starting out last time we got together. We were just getting together and just getting kind of our feet wet a little bit. We've been doing it two years strong now, and the band has never sounded better. I'm so glad you came out today. Look at this audience we've got. I know, it's amazing. What a crowd, right? <laughs> That's because you guys have become so popular. Well, we had a good, uh, a good showing in Polaris just about two days ago, and we've been to West Virginia, Texas. We've also been to Pennsylvania, a lot of other places. So the band's really gotten strong. Well, I know you guys were doing a lot of Florida trips as well, right? We're going back uh, in just a couple of weeks again, about two, three times a year, because there is a demand for it. And uh, we're coming back, I think, in September. Is that right? right? September. Well, for people who have not seen you and the band, what, what do you cover? What, what part of McCartney do you cover? Well, I'm very sorry. They live underneath a rock. <laughs> um, no. But actually, uh, we cover... It's, it's sort of what Paul is doing now, where we do a lot of Beatles tunes. He throws a lot of Beatles into the mix, you know, and he does a good cross of his Wings music. And he doesn't do a lot of his newer stuff, but he does throw in all the classic hits. So we do some 70s Wings, not too much 80s, and a lot of Beatles. So if you come to the show, you're going to hear something that you like. I guarantee that. Yeah. Uh, I, I got to tell you, you know, I've seen you guys perform a number of times, and it is always fantastic every time. We we'll introduce us to the members of the band. We've got here on lead guitar, Lair Walken from Delaware. He's a Buckeye. Hi, everybody. And on drums is Filthy Phil Stearns. Phil Stearns on the drums. Oh, That's right. We've got our very own Linda. We have Sarah Reed. And the maestro of the band, he's a keyboard, guitar, and arranger. It's Rob Anagnostis right there. And vocals. I tell you, it's Robbie. It, it is an amazing show. What, what's the future hold for the McCartney Project? The future, actually, we just got done with a, a animated special. We did a Uncle Albert animated to our likeness. It's on YouTube if you want to see it. McCartney Project Uncle Albert. I'm thinking another cartoon, a lot more Florida, and much more Central Ohio if they'll have us. <laughs> I'm sure they will. Tony, it's a pleasure. I'm glad we could catch up. Thanks so much for being back on the show. Uh, thank you for uh, keeping me updated on the weather with the mobile track when I'm, you know, groggy and waking up after me gigs. I always watch you in the mornings. Hello. Well, I'm going to bite into one of my favorite hot dogs here at Buns and Brew, the Texan, but that's just one of many that they have. you got to come out and check this out. We had an opportunity to talk to Kevin Hightower. He told us more about Buns and Brews. Mm. Well, Kevin... Good to have you and Buns and Brews back on the show. It's good to be back, Mike. You know, I I'll tell you, ever since I ate one of these hot dogs, I've thought about this place over and over and over again because the names of these hot dogs are just amazing. The Southern Comfort, the Texan, the Carolinas. Where do the names come from? And, and kind of talk me through this whole thing. Well, the names are originated from the different parts of the country where dogs originate. You know, you have... Um, 
the Southern Comfort, you know, it's uh, got collard greens on it and a special relish mix that the chef came up with, the uh, Jamaican Me Crazy. And it's really a spicy dog, but with the coleslaw, it cools down the spice a little bit. What's the favorite hot dog? I, I always have to ask that. What do people order more often in here? Well, my personal favorite is the New Yorker. I can't, I can't get enough of it. However, the number one selling dog is the Texan because it's, you know, it's a chili dog. Everyone knows a chili dog. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about the brew part of this then. Yeah, you know, we have uh, craft beers. We've got eight taps right now. Uh, we've got a couple of local IPAs, North High IPA. We've got Ryan Geist Truth from Cincinnati. We've got Columbus CBC IPA, Bell's Two Hearted, Bell's Oberon. If you like a cider, we've got Angry Orchard. Well, we're going to leave it there, man. These are amazing. we got to get some folks in here to give these a try. Tell us how we can find you. Buns and Brews. 970 Parsons Avenue, Columbus, Ohio. The phone number is 614-817-1704. The website is bunsandbrewscolumbus.com. Fantastic. Kevin, good seeing you again. I'm going to bite into one of these. Absolutely. <laughs> like the Out and About Columbus Facebook page for pictures, video, and more on the show, including news about upcoming shows and even exclusive behind-the-scenes content. That's facebook.com slash outandaboutcolumbus. Well, you know, it's that season. We're seeing those warm temperatures. That means that lawn's going to need some treatment. You love those outdoor patio spaces, but we got the guy that can take care of it. We talked to Ty Woods from Year Round Landscaping. Well, Ty, good to have you and Year Round Landscaping back on the show. Thanks for having me, Mike. It's a true pleasure. So it's good to finally see some great temperatures. And of course, the problem is that means that the grass starts growing and you want some patio spaces and you're the guy that can take care of all that. So let's talk a little bit about what you can do for our viewers. Well, this is the perfect time to get things going. If you're thinking about outdoor living space, if you need to get that lawn repaired, renovated, or if you need to do some softscaping, rejuvenate the mulch beds, this is the perfect time to give me a call. Let's discuss the options available and let's move forward. Well, you know, one of the other things that's really nice, Ty, is to have that patio space, you know, that with the barbecues and have the family. And it really increases the living space of a, that a family has on the outside. What can you do to help people out with that? Well, give me a call get, and we'll talk about some of the features and benefits. You can just imagine coming home after a long day of work or just going outside in a nice afternoon or evening, enjoying yourself uh, on your nice new patio space. You can have seat walls, fire pits. There's many, many features and benefits that can be built into something like that. Or it can be as small as a 10 by 10 square foot area just to get you out the grass. It's always been a vision of mine to plant trees. I would have a shaded area just so quiet place to chill, meditate, entertain people, maybe have a fire in the fire pit. The service was really outstanding. They kept communication with me. Ty was always checking in on things, letting me know what was going to happen step by step. He let me know that he was going to be here personally overseeing uh, the work, and that made me feel good because I knew if I had any questions, I could contact Ty, either step out my door, or text him, and he responds very quickly. Myself and my partner, we like to read, so we'll probably come out here and read and just be quiet. As I said, we've got this fire pit we built, so we're real excited about having family over and roasting marshmallows on the patio in the fire pit. Give some people some contact information if they want to get that patio space or get that lawn straightened out. Well, first off, you can go to our website for more information, www.landscaping365.com. You can also contact me through that. If that's not going as fast as you like, give me a call directly. I'll get on the phone and try to help you out as best I can. Fantastic. Ty, good seeing you. Thank you, Mike. You know, one of the neat things about stopping by Absolute Hearing Solutions is they are on the leading edge of technology and hearing aids. Whether you're using a smartphone to adjust your hearing aids or you are looking for those hearing aids you can't even see. And today we find out that even if you're in distant places, you can have Absolute Hearing Solutions adjust your hearing aid. Greg Van Horsen told us more. It's always fun to come here because some of the technology and so much changes since you've been doing the show. Mm -hmm. uh, and some other great news that we were kind of talking about a little bit off camera today uh, about technology. Because I know a lot of people may spend uh, winter time in Florida and enjoy the Florida, and they may need an adjustment to hearing aid, and you've got a solution for them now, correct? Absolutely. Well, before they used to have to send them to another office or wait until they come back. But now uh, some new hearing aids out there out now, and you have a, as long as you have a phone, mainly an iPhone, but if you even have um, 
Android or some other technologies, you can do that. But what will happen is they'll send us an email saying I need some high tones, low tones, you can be that specific, or even just turn up program one or program three up, or make me a noise program. We can download that, put in, go, pull up our computer, it'll go right to their phone, they'll hit a download button, and then it'll actually automatically change their hearing aid. So they don't really have to come in, drive an hour, drive a half hour, or like you said, if they're in Florida, mm -hmm. they just need a little bit of a tweak. It it's, it's makes it very, very fast and, and, and easy for them so that instead of having to come in into the office. Yeah. Being in this industry as long as you've been, how surprised are you by all the technological changes? Uh, Any more, not so much, It's but, it, but it's all geared toward technology and the phones because people love their phones. And I tell you, if people are struggling with their hearing, if you have a, a Samsung or an iPhone, things are really speeding up on what they can actually do with it. There's even a latest app where you can turn up bass tones, high tones, you can change music, you can you can control music, you can control um, a voice activator where you can put your phone down there in the middle of a table and you can even change bass, uh, treble. It, you can do a lot of things on your own. Now, that may seem sound complicated for some people, like, oh, I want it real simple. You can make it very, very simple too, but for those people that are more techie that want to make it more complicated and they want to really make some fine tuning they could they can do that where before the old way was just turn everything up and turn everything down but now you can get more bass more treble and really help some of that fine tuning and even change microphone directionality where if you're in a restaurant you can change some things if you and i are talking and i'm struggling i can hit a button oh my gosh that's so much better okay great oh, that's neat. well as always, great information. Give us some contact information for Absolute Hearing Solutions. Okay, great. Well, you can get contest at AbsoluteHearingSolutions.com or give us a call at the number on the screen. Yeah, I know, always on the leading edge. Thanks so much for being on the show, Thank Greg. Thank you very much for having us. Would you like your business to appear on an upcoming episode of Out and About Columbus? Send your contact information to info at outandaboutcolumbus.com to learn more. I want to thank everybody from uh, my family here at Wheels for taking the time to view in today and uh, look at some vehicles we've got. I want to take some time to go ahead and let you guys know about uh, Wheels Motor Sales. We're a family-owned business. We were established in 1990. My father and uncle opened their first location in Grandview. In 1997, we opened our second lot on Morse Road, and it was in 2012 that we decided to move out here onto Georgesville Road. We pride ourselves in the way that we deal with our customers and make sure that our customers are getting a nice quality vehicle and payments they can afford. We've done so for over 28 years, and this whole time we've kept an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. One of the keys to our success is our financing options that we offer to customers. We deal with over 20 banks and lenders that help our customers find financial solutions to whatever problem they might be in. Whether you're in bankruptcy, uh, low income, fixed incomes, cash incomes like waiters and servers, uh, we can help everybody no matter what your situation is. When you come in, you'll get a chance to deal with myself or one of our other finance experts to make sure that we suit all the needs that you want and get you into the car that you're really gonna enjoy. So without further ado, let's go over here. Let me show you some of the inventory that we've got for you today. First up, I've got this beautiful 2008 Chevy Avalanche. If you're looking for a truck that's got enough luxury to suit your needs, well, here it is. It's a 5.3 liter engine V8, comes equipped with keyless entry, OnStar, power seats, locks, and windows, XM satellite radio. This has got a clean Carfax history report and is listed only for $12,490. It could all be yours for as little as $275 a month. Next up is this magnificent 2013 Subaru Impreza. Why not treat yourself to a little bit of adventure with this all-wheel drive Impreza? Comes with hill start assist, CVT transmission, power doors, locks, windows, and seats, tons of service records, which means it was well maintained, and a clean Carfax history report. Priced at $8,790 with 84,000 miles, don't miss your chance to make it yours for as little as $177 a month. Last up is for those of you who want something reasonable on gas and sporty. This 2014 Dodge Avenger, 3.6 liter engine bringing 29 miles to the gallon, comes equipped with electronic stability control, steel wheels, flex fuel, and Uconnect for all your audio devices. Listed at $89.90, this Avenger is ready to go and can be yours for as little as $181 a month. Again, I'd like to get a chance to thank our viewers for tuning in with us today. We want to encourage everybody to take a look at our website at www.wheelsmotorsales.com. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash wheelsmotorsales. Don't forget to give us a call if you've got any questions at 614-725-4400. Again, that's 614-725-4400. And last but not least, remember, you can always get the best deals at Wheels.
If it's happening in Central Ohio, you can find it on our events page. onacolumbus.com will give you detailed information on everything. Arts, entertainment, education, sports, theater, and more. Go to onacolumbus.com and click on ONA Events. Well, you know, there's nothing like going out camping with the family. Get rid of those electronic devices and just enjoy a weekend or a week together. It is certainly a great time. And if you're looking for a great deal on an RV, Whole Rain Family RV. Along 36 here, just beyond Alum Creek, you can't beat the deals here. Well, I know the one thing about Coleraine Rain Family RVs is you guys have great deals, and I imagine this is another one of those great deals, right, Jamie? Yes, this is a smoking deal. This 2018 Keystone Passport 171 EXP Hybrid has an MSRP of $21,798. We can get to sell this today for just $16,595. What's some of the features of this one? Well, it has an outside shower, some good storage underneath, but the neat thing, this is a hybrid, so both ends pop out mm -hmm. to make it a lot more roomy inside. Those are some of the other features inside? Yes, a lot more, come on in. The queen beds in the front and rear comfortably fit too, and the dinette and sofa convert to additional sleeping spaces for the kids. In the middle is a full kitchen with lots of pantry and cabinet space. Finally, there's a full bath, including a shower and a tub in the rear. What else you got for us today? Hey, we've got some great deals on motorhomes. Let me show you the 22 SE. Let's go. Well, Jamie, this classy motorhome is beautiful. Yes, it is. This is a uh, brand new model that just came out uh, about 12 months ago. Mm -hmm. So it's smaller than most of the Class Cs. Right. You know, Jayco, I recognize that name. That one's been around a while. It has. This company's been in business for 50 years. Yeah, this is about the same time that Gold Rain's been around. Absolutely. Yeah, we're 50 years old as well. Boy. Well, tell us a little bit about the features of this. The 22A SE has more than enough space for the family. The two slide outs expand for the fully equipped galley with overhead cabinet and pantry space along with a flat screen TV for your inside entertainment. There's a queen bedroom in the rear with a full bath with shower. And finally the cab over bed, sofa and dinette all convert to more sleeping spaces for the kids up front. Well, Jamie, give me your best deal on this Class C motorhome. Absolutely. This 2018 Jayco Class C. It's a 22A SE model, so don't forget that. It's an MSRP of $86,431, and we're discounted down to $58,495. That's incredible. That's a great deal on one of these. And boy, just think of the family fun you can have with us. Absolutely. With only $2,000 down, you can get this payment down to about $439 a month. Well, Jamie, where can we get a hold of one of these great deals here at Coleraine Family RV? Well, of course, always on our website at ColeraineRV.com. Com. You can find these great deals, or you can come visit us right here at the dealership. We're off for exit 131 off I-71, and it's about two miles from the interstate on Route 36. Yeah, just cross over Allen Creek and you're here, right? Absolutely. You can't miss us. Yeah, I'll tell you. you know, if you're looking for an RV, this is the place to come. No question about it. You know, like you guys say, we treat you like family. That, that we do. Oh, fantastic. Jamie, thanks so much for being on the show. Thanks, Mike. Well, we hope you enjoyed today's show. And, of course, you can find any of the businesses that you saw on today's show on our website at ONA Columbus. Or if you missed the show, you can see it there as well. And, of course, next week, well, we're headed back up north. We're going to check out Cleveland, of course, home of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and a lot of great things up there. Be sure to tune in next Sunday, 10 a.m. on ABC6.